What's up, Pimp Club? I'm here with another Therapy Thursday, and this is the final part to the squat series. Again, if you touched in uh, to our first part, we worked on ankle mobility. Last week, we covered the hip mobility as well as some of the strengthening, and now we're gonna go through some core bracing, which is very important for your squat. So we're gonna start with a wall-assisted dead bug. I'm gonna go through some bracing techniques. I would like for you guys to try these bracing techniques because ultimately this has to become routine or habitual. That way you guys can really apply it in your boot camps. So we're gonna start with three dead bug progressions. Number one, you're gonna line up as if your feet were on the floor, as if you're about to do a squat. So you want your feet shoulder width apart, slightly wider if you've got very tight hips. And again, what we wanna to do to focus on your dead bug is we gotta try and focus on flattening the low back to the ground here. So what you're gonna do right away is turn on your abdominals. So I like to find the best way is to take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath, draw all of that down, the belly button into the spine and down to the hips. Now from here, what you wanna do is push into the wall as if you're about to push the earth down when you do your squat. Keep the low back flat, keep the core tight. Breathe out for good, three, two, one, and then relax. And now what I would try and do is a series of 10 reps of that. So you wanna have a, a few sensations going on. You wanna have the sensation of the deep breath with the belly button going down into the spine, and you wanna have the sensation of driving your heels into the wall. But what, you wanna make sure that nothing is moving from your pelvis. You don't want your back arching, you don't want your butt coming off the ground, any of that feeling. You gotta be very in control, just like when we were doing our squats. You don't want none of that moving. That is our baseline. So once you've got that series of 10 good long deep breaths, then we can start playing around with some of the uh, exercises. So this one here, we're gonna do a little bit of internal rotation. So what you can do is using a ball, a pillow, using a foam roller, you're going to squeeze your knees together, flatten that low back right away, Tor core is tight, we're bracing, and then what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna try and internally rotate that leg so that heel is coming out. Same thing, we're trying to focus on keeping our low back flat. This is nice and braced, it's taking my breath away, and we're just focusing on internal rotation, bringing blood flow to that hip flexor, the internal rotators of the hip, working out those kinks, and after about 10 reps, you're gonna notice you've got more mobility already, okay? And these are all accessory movements. We don't do these into the gym. We, we focus more on compound lifts and we neglect this stuff. So working on this is gonna help with the mobility, help with your squats. Again, I would do 10 reps and then switch sides, okay? Exercise number three. You've probably seen this before in one of my videos. I can't get enough of it only because it does allow for some passive stretching for the hip flexor, which does often get tight, especially if you gotta work at a desk. So again, we're gonna come into that dead bug position, okay? Make sure you've got your low back flat, your abdominals are braced, again, belly butt into the spine, down to the hips, and then for the classic dead bug, knees over top of your hips, hands directly over top of your shoulders, and then what we're gonna do is drop the opposite arm and opposite leg. Everything's still staying braced. Take that deep breath in, deep breath out. Drop the opposite arm, opposite leg, go as far as you can, and then back. Focus on the control. Focus on the control, nothing moving. Pelvis on both sides is staying equal. Keep breathing. Ugh. Keep that low back flat and be in nice and control. You don't want things looking like this. You don't want look, looking things like that because that just means you've got no control. We gotta really focus on the bracing and focus on achieving some of that strength and mobility. Just like so. And then back up. And then again, 10 reps per side. You guys can start increasing by sets or reps. As long as you're getting into fatigue, you guys are gonna notice a big difference. Apply the core concepts, increase your mobility through your ankle and your hip, and you're gonna notice a big difference in your squats. 
I hope you like this series. If you want any kind of series more like this in the future, just comment below. Please like, comment, and share if you did like this series. Again, if you're seeking athletic therapy, please find the information below and get a hold of me. Otherwise, guys, enjoy your Thursday. I'm Coach Andrew with Fit Club. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks.